YouTube just banned the channel Activist Post on September 15th. They gave the reason multiple violations of community guidelines. But YouTube never gave the channel any specific strikes, and they declined to provide any guidelines that the channel supposedly violated. Just one day the channel's there, and the next, poof, YouTube disappeared it. Welcome to the new world of the Internet. Activist Post has been around for a few years. It had garnered hundreds of thousands of views from about 150 videos. YouTube had demonetized some of their videos, as they've been doing to many people whose videos present radical or even just alternative ideas. But the outright ban of the channel came out of the blue to its creators. The last video they had posted was about the objectification of women and sex robots. It wasn't even political or very controversial. It was just an interview where they were talking very respectfully about women and the nature of these robots and what they say about our society. So it'd be hard to understand why YouTube would have shut down the channel over that video. Another reason they might have shut it down could be that Activist Post was actually named by the Washington Post as fake news after the election, when they made their little fake news hit list, an experience which Activist Post's host, Vin Armani, called surreal. Now, I've watched many of their videos, and I've even done interviews with Vin myself, and I can tell you, I've never seen them publish just outright fake news. I didn't agree with everything they've said, and I've had different opinions from them over the years. But their channel has always been less about breaking news and more about discussion. That's what I always liked. It was a place where people with alternative viewpoints could discuss things in a way not represented in the mainstream media. And I suspect that's the real reason YouTube took down their channel, because they were a place where alternative perspectives could grow. That's what's going to be squashed more and more in the coming years, from YouTube and Google and Facebook and Twitter, from anywhere masses of people congregate online. And they won't even have to give a reason. But in the end, anyone with an alternative perspective will know why. It's a brave new world, all right. And as Activist Post's host says, same as the old one.